Hey guys, Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates, and this is your workshop update. It's been a minute since I've done one. I've been furiously painting because we're working our way back into show season. Just to give you kind of an update on what I've been doing, I've got a couple of these rats. I'm just going to do some show and tell here today, I think. Um, six inch smoothie, the OG. I really like these rats. They're well balanced. They swim very well. Nice wide lip. We'll bring it down subsurface, but not more than one or two feet. Generally, if you uh, kind of slow work it on top, it will stay up at the surface or just below. Partner with a pink or black or white. I prefer pink or black on a tail because I like the black eyes as well. And there you have it. The rat punk got a couple of those um, other things happening too we'll go through the bullshad stuff and then i'll go through some of my stuff got some new england crappie and some mid-atlantic to southeast black crappie breeding colors and then we've got a mistake which i don't normally do but every once in a while michael asks for them so nice little gill on one side in the in the gill body six inch profile and the crappy on the other sometimes they've asked for bass in the past but bass just don't have that body style this is the bass in a six inch and it's that beautiful baby it's got some nice foiling behind it um, baby bass color so if you guys follow me on social media then you know that i did a bunch of these the other day and I've also got some new herring coming out. And these, of course, have the traditional gold line that herring do. This is the blueback herring. Nice little pink belly. Some nice accenting on the scales. Because Mike, you know, you kind of have to work with scales because Mike has scales on a lot of his, especially the older style bodies from Bullshad. But you can use those to your advantage, especially when you're dealing with something like these bluegill. So the scaling works really, really well with certain techniques of paint. And then we've got that beautiful metallic blue in the cheeks. So these are quickly becoming some of my favorites. It's definitely a confidence bait out on the water when I'm fishing. I don't catch always a lot of size, but I catch quantity. So if you're out fun fishing and you're targeting some either pond bass, these are really good in ponds because you can bring them up pretty quickly in the water column. Um, also have got some sevens and eight inch of these free swimmers just solid shad patterns come a long way with the shad um, these little guys are some of mine just to emphasize the shad but um, lots of lots of changes over the years I've actually kind of embraced the whole shad thing <laughs> as I should working for full shad um, but just having a having a lot of fun but these uh these little herrings. I'm probably going to drop a couple of these on my website today. So if you guys are in the market for some resin, tried and true, very good swimmer, swim baits, nice and shiny. Got that color shift, that purpley blue, which you'll see as it's swimming down into some golds and pinks. Nice color shifting going on there. Blueback herring. Very common with uh, deep water, very clear water, like the clear water lakes, ha lakes have them. They're, if you're a Georgia person, they're in Alatoona now. Um, they're everywhere. So, had fun, did a pile of those. Um, what else we got here? You guys saw the crappie, the mistakes. Um, let's go move on to some of my stuff. I don't know that I've shown off these little guys yet in the brown. If I have not, then here they are. This is an ounce, 1.2 ounces, single piece, um, like great big jerk bait, or you can swim really, really fast, doesn't blow out. These go to about three, three and a half, four feet. Uh, so working on some different stuff there. We've got these, really pretty. Nice clean work in that table rock. Table Rock Pattern, Branson, if you will. Did a couple more of these in a wake bait, nice and shiny. Lots of color shift in there as well. 
drop those on the website later on this week. And I'm actually really fond of these. This is a spot tail shiner. And if you've ever seen spot tail shiners, they are very similar to shad, except their kill dot is on the tail. So super cool. I've, I've actually been catching a lot of the actual spot tails. They get about five, six inches. That's their max. They don't get as big as gizzards or thread fin. Um, a little bit smaller of a fish, but if, uh, if you wanted to see one that was uh, full size, adult, mature, this is it. And this is on that X, uh, X-Rap 12, I want to say. It's a Rapala. Rapala. Just really, really pretty. Nice, clean. A lot of modeling. Blush on the throat. And this has been triple clear coated. You can, this is about three quarters of an ounce, maybe just a little bit over with heavier hooks. Um, but you absolutely can fish this on conventional. You don't need a swim bait rod for it. You just need something heavier. Uh, musky rods work really well. Stiff, heavy body, fast tip, something that can handle. Make sure that whatever rod you're using, especially with these bigger baits, recommend obviously anything over an ounce you want to get a swim bait rod for. That's just my personal recommendation. Um, it's a lot more sensitive than some of your bigger broomstick type rods, like your flipping, pitching, frogging type deals. Um, Mike Dobbins, that's the one. You want to get that Mike Buca 836 or 835. The 835 is rated one to four ounces. The 836, which is my personal favorite and I throw it all the time, is a two to eight ounce. And that's the MB, Mike Buca. Dobbins swim bait rod MB 836 and 835 respectively. We've got them in here at the storefront at the Bullshad storefront. We've got lots of packages going out today as always. And you can get them at Tackle Warehouse or any of the places where your respective fine dealers will sell them. That's pretty much what I've got for you guys today. Um, again, these are on the website. These 2.5 square bills and the X wraps. I did a limited batch on these guys, but um, lots of fun stuff. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I will see you on the next spray session, which is coming up at the end of this week. I'm going to be doing a hinkle and a kokanee salmon. See ya. Oh, yeah. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.